We're Sarah and Kate, and this was our first port day of the cruise. Sarah couldn't sleep, so she was awake to watch the ship dock at Hamburg in Germany, which was an industrial port we felt looked best at night. We had organised our backpacks the night before, so we wouldn't have to mess about in the morning before breakfast. To get off the ship, you have to have your cruise card with you and any excursion tickets for events that day. As we'd booked our excursions with P&O while on the ship, the tickets were delivered to our room the day before and had information about meeting point locations and time. So we made sure to keep these safe. As usual, the Horizon magazine is really useful and it gave us information on the time zone, currency, and some bits about the local area. It will also let you know if you need your passport or not. So we took our passport, but it wasn't checked this time. We got off the ship very quickly. They scanned our cruise cards and let us go. P&O excursion staff had clipboards and will tell you which coach to get on. As it's an industrial port, you can't walk from the ship to Hamburg. The coaches took us to the city for our excursion called Land and Lake, which would tour the main sites of the city with a guide on the coach before moving onto a glass top boat to continue the tour, which we enjoyed a lot. As the excursion was for the morning only, we had the option to spend a couple of hours in the city to explore or head back to the ship. For lunch, we went back to the Keys and had fish and chips and a katsu curry, which was just as good as before. Sarah decided to take a dip in the outside swimming pool, which was just warm enough not to take your breath away when you got in. The hot tubs are warmer than the pool, but obviously not as hot as you'd expect for one on land. More like warm tubs, really. The outside pool wasn't busy, as it was February, and most of the sunbeds were stacked, and aside from a few kids and their parents sitting with their towels, most people were still off the ship exploring. There really is a lot to do or experience on the ship, and one of those things is getting a haircut, which Sarah had booked beforehand, as we were going to eat at Sindhu that night. We hadn't seen many reviews of this, so wasn't too sure about it, but she really wanted a trim and was pleasantly surprised at the quality and good service. She did have a head scrub too, but wanted to say that the staff will try and upsell you quite a lot, so be polite but firm if you don't want that. But on the whole, staff were super friendly, it was a good cut and blow dry, and she would definitely go back again. Finally, it was dinner and we'd booked to eat at Sindhu this time, and the meal was amazing. It's a modern Indian cuisine, so don't expect your local curry house. This is more Indian style fine dining. There's a £10 per person deposit when you book before your cruise. But this is taken off the bill at the end of the meal and pre-booking gets you 20% discount too. So it's well worth booking before you go if you know you want to eat here. We had three starters to share and then there was the sharing platter had lobster, steak and duck. Rice, lentils and naan bread were served as sides as compliments of the chef. Sarah had a lobster dish, which she said was incredible. For dessert, we had a trio of desserts and Sarah had elements of trifle, which was a lemon posset with passion fruit jelly. Cindy was Sarah's favourite restaurant of the whole trip and she said it was one of the best meals she's ever had. There was attentive service, a high standard of food and a really nice intimate dining room and it was honestly a perfect way to end day three. 